A nine-year dredging project begins today on the Fox River. A huge environmental cleanup project that's been disputed for years and years in the planning finally got started today. The Fox River one step closer to clean. It's the project everyone is talking about, and with good reason. After decades of debate, Fox River in Green Bay, Wisconsin, is getting a long overdue environmental makeover. The Lower Fox River Remediation Project is, uh, is about dredging and capping of uh, PCB contaminated sediment. The main objective on this project is to minimize the waste that will be transported to landfill. Yeah, special about this project is that the 6 million cubic yards that comes out of the river is in an inline process. The dredges sucks it out of the river, pumps it to a pipeline, straight to our processors, into our facility. What we do is we separate the sand. Sand is beneficial reused. By doing that, it minimizes the waste that goes to the landfill. And then the other objective is to get the fines that comes out of the river that are PCB contaminated, get it to a transportable filter cake and uh, transport it to the landfill. We separated a total of 800,000 tons of sand uh, that has been reused on local highway projects. By using it on a local highway project uh, as beneficial reuse uh, material, uh, it's a huge saving for our clients. When we started in 2008 with engineering and building the facility, it was at that time it was the largest a uh, facility built with the largest presses uh, delivered, uh, eight of them, two by two meters. Volume-wise, this is the largest project in the world, actually, uh, to process this kind of material. The cleanup of the PCBs in the Fox River is entering, finally, the home stretch. Yes, crews are expected to finish the massive dredging operation still this year. But the big question, has it had an impact yet? The primary concern was the contamination of the fish and what that would do to uh, the, the ability of the fish to reproduce and to grow, and most uh, seriously, the kind of health implications for humans that would catch those fish and then uh, eat the fish. It takes a number of years of monitoring to establish a trend and to be certain about things, but so far the data is, looks very good and we're getting very good reductions. So now we are shedding the tap, literally, that no more PCBs are going to come after this cleanup. That's a massive success story. This is a huge deal. This is probably one of the most successful cleanups across the United States and Canada, and probably one of the most successful in the world as well, and people should know about it.